Dude, check out this rig I made. Ah. <laughs> it's cool. That's just cool. Well, good afternoon. Welcome to the channel. Here, here's an idea I had. I saw, I saw this guy smacking golf balls off the beach, and I was like, "All right, I can do that." Because I, I play golf too. I, I live in Florida. You either play golf or you fish. It's you know, or you skateboard or surf or what, you know, you do stuff like that. Anyway, I am going to drill a hole in this golf ball right here, and I'm going to send it sailing into the ocean. And I'm going to attach some fish bites to it, a hook, a leader. Just stay tuned. Here it comes. Yeah. I've never done this before, so let's see if it even works. So far, so good. We're all the way, th we're all the way through. All right. <laughs> this is weird stuff happening behind me. Step one is complete, guys. Check this out. I just used an old golf ball. No big deal. All the way through. All right, so after numerous attempts at making a rig, I came up with this rig. Then I'll show you how to make it. So basically, all right, to get started, you're gonna need a golf ball, okay? So you get a golf ball. I got this little clamp. This is to keep it steady. Uh, I got a eighth inch drill bit here, eighth inch drill bit. Um, I've already drilled the hole all the way through, but um, yeah, it's, it's pretty, it, it goes through. You don't really need a masonry bit or anything. It, you know, it, it, it'll, it'll go all the way through, okay? So now we got this hole. Perfect. Start with that. All right, so this is what you're going to need. Your barrel swivel, your bead, your float, your 2 watt circle hook, or whatever size you actually, if you want a 4 up to 4 odd, I think, be all right. Your golf ball and your fluorocarbon or your monofilament, doesn't matter. All right, guys, so I'm using this Seaguar. It's a 20 pound test. You can use whatever uh, leader line you like. It doesn't matter. This is fluorocarbon. Some people can use mono. But uh, uh, to measure it out, I usually go, for, you should go from your shoulder to uh, to your hand. And that, and that will give you um, pl plenty of room for error. Make your knots. We're gonna do a couple of polymore knots. So it gives you a little extra line to use. And first thing you're gonna do, is you're gonna go through the golf ball. So we're just gonna go right through the golf ball. Come out this end, set her down. All right, you're gonna grab your barrel swivel. Gonna go through, and I'm gonna polymore knot everything, okay? I just wanna make sure that nothing comes apart. So polymore knot, if you don't already know, I mean, you can look it up on YouTube or I could just show you right now. You go through the, through the eye, you go back through the eye, so you have this loop, okay? And you have that on the end. We're gonna go ahead and just take this loop, pinch it, and tie it around, tie it around these and come through the through the loop just like you're tying your shoe okay just like that okay boom so you should have this loop and then this loop needs to needs to go around this barrel swivel so put this barrel swivel through there right there and just cinch down grab these two that are still remaining grab those two and just cinch down boom and you got yourself a nice, nice knot here. A very strong knot, okay? And we'll, we'll, we'll clip this off in a minute. Boom, perfect. For all you golfers out there, this is a tailor-made. It's not a Pro V1, so don't freak out. <laughs> all right. And um, so now what we want to do is we want to take our bead on this end. Just go ahead and put our bead in all the way down. Boom, got our bead. Put your float. Go ahead and put our float in. Right, through. right there, perfect. Bring it down, right down. Boom. Now we're going to do the same thing with the polymore knot on this. Okay. So I'm going to put this line back through. 
the loop here. Okay, and I got these two tail ends here. These two tails. I'm gonna pinch these two tails, pinch this loop. All right, now I'm gonna tie this loop around these two tails and try my best to get it back through, which I did, okay. And pull down just a little bit, not all the way, just a little bit so I still have this little tail end here. And then I have this loop I just made. I wanna get this hook to go through this loop. Now that it's going around the loop, coming right around to the eye of the hook, now I wanna pull my tags. Pull my tags tight. That polymer knot is one of the stronger, stronger knots, okay? And I'll take my fish bites cutter, awesome. Thank you, fish bites. Yep, you can get these on the, at the store in uh, St. Augustine off Nick's Boat Yard. Here we go, boom. And this, guys, is now the completed rig. I don't know, this is the, uh, the Sandman rig. We're calling this the Sandman, the golfing Sandman rig, okay? This is the sand trap, because <laughs> you're definitely hitting this out of a sand trap. All right, so there you go. You got your barrel swivel through the ball to a bead. I, I like the, the, the sound action, too, that it makes. I don't know, it's, got, it's got a little rattle to it, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's also for show. But basically what you want is this this float just to come up just a little bit and float your float your fish bite bait and when you're going to hit this i strongly suggest you put this here this here and set it up on a t just like that and then pew, see you later all right keep it reeling it's cool that's just cool.